Hi everyone, I'm Doug from Now TV and I'm joined by Sky Sports F1's Simon Lazenby. Hello. Hello. Nice. Thanks for coming to talk to us ahead of a huge 2016 Formula One season, about which I'm sure you're very excited. So let's get cracking. Um, without sitting on the fence, Simon. Yeah. And I know you know this question's coming. Yeah. Who's going to win? Wow. Hey, I'm not going to say. I'm going to stick my. Ne I'm going to stick my neck out this year because um, obviously everybody's expecting. I think Lewis to make it uh, three in a row. I mean, his fourth championship. I'm. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. And this is nothing against Lewis. It's just I'd love to see Vettel mm -hmm. against Hamilton. Mm -hmm. And I think. If they can get it right in the second half of the season and improve their car, first half's going to belong to Mercedes, I think, or maybe the first few races. If they can develop it and catch them up, wouldn't it be great to see mm. Vettel and Hamilton head to head? And I'm going to go with Vettel stealing it in Abu Dhabi. Last race. Okay. It needs a bit of drama for the end of the end of the season. Okay, you heard it here first. Um, that would be very fun. Um, okay, uh, keeping with the season, maybe away from the season, Ferrari. Who's going to be the big star this year? And you can't save a step. Can't save. Why can't save a step? Because everyone's going to save. Because everyone's going to save. Okay. Gonna save okay. <laughs> Oh, pick one. Well, I'm, I'm rather hoping. I think I think the Renault uh, works team as it is now, Lotus as it was um, for the last few years, I think it's going to be a great battle to see Jolien Palmer, Britain's Jolien Palmer, who we're all hoping does really, really well, um, up against Kevin Magnussen, because we all are aware of his talent. He had a great first season, had a good season, solid first season with McLaren, showed how mature he was. I'm, I want Jolien to do well. Mm -hmm. I think if he can get anywhere close to K Mag, then he'll really have proved his credentials, and that yeah. could could make for a, for a long and prosperous career in Formula One. I'm going to go. I think K Mag is going to be. I think he'll, he'll outperform that car. Okay. Um, best looking car of the current cars. I like the Red Bull. Yes, I like I the think, Red Bull. I think I think the Red Bull. Fast. I mean, if we're, if we're getting really geeky about it, we love the matte paint. Yes. Um, we think they're doing something a little bit clever there, or, or word on the street is. But it's just great. I think I, I look, you know, it's got big logo on it, big bright yellow logo on it. I don't mm. know. In a in in a field where a few of the cars have been accused of being slightly mm. boring on the livery front this year, there's a lot yeah. of greys and blacks, mm. and um, yeah, I think it stands out. It does look cool. The Ferrari um, looks good as well. Yes, Big it does look the, the white. The white, yeah, it's very nice. A little bit of cigarette paper. But, you know, yeah, it's different. different. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, okay, so 21 races this year. Uh, will it be a struggle for the drivers and will it be a struggle for you? Um, well, we were just we were just discussing that, actually, with the boys down there. Um, will it be a struggle? Yes, because of the amount of back-to-backs there are. They say they're not back-to-backs because we come back, but we only come back for two days. Mm. So, Canada into Azerbaijan... Yeah. You get to, it gets a little bit messy in the yeah. middle of the season, but you know we're you know we're here to deal with that. We yes. can deal with it. Who's the funniest driver? Do you think? Well, I get on. Well, I've, I've, I've enjoyed talking to, to Jensen Button when I talk to Jensen Button. He's a gentleman. He always takes British media out in Brazil, uh, and he's you know he's he's just a he's a good boy. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a very good boy. Funny. Um, I think that we we found pasta funny for many reasons. Yes, for many track. reasons. Yeah. And off it, uh, I'm I'm sure I'm missing somebody. Yeah, Vettel. Vettel's Everyone is funny. He, Vettel is the funniest. I, go, I think Vettel is very think funny. funny. I think he's very funny. Can I, can I say he's got a smutty sense of humour. He's yes. got a schoolboy sense of humour, and so do I. So and um, everyone loves that. Yeah, I'd say they don't, but yeah. they really do. Okay, well, um, this is a big test for me. Can can you do an impression of any of the drivers or your fellow presenters? I can't do impressions and will not do impressions on camera, although I will say that most... I, have you ever seen, all of them, all the team principals, uh, drivers, I, th I don't know if it's a European thing, right. but the amount of for sure's oh, that you get out sure's. there. Why do yeah. you say that? Well, I don't know where what that, that come is. from, but you must... I have to give out four or five an interview, I think. Would you rather have Nico Rosberg's hair, Daniel Ricciardo's smile, or Fernando Alonso's beard? It's probably the most important question we'll ask. Well, I've, I've got Daniel Ricciardo's teeth, so okay. I can't, I can, you know, I don't want to have that. Um, I've got it. Uh, if I could grow a beard, yeah, I'd go with Alonso's beard because, mm. whisper it, I think Nico Rosberg might, might be slightly thinning on top. I don't know, but uh, you know, that's, it, I, that's certainly what I've noticed. You'll have to ask him in a really serious interview. Yeah, well, I'll say. Maybe I in Abu Dhabi. I don't think that would go down too well. No. Your favourite team, if you're allowed to have one? Yeah, it, can be, it can be for any reasons. Don't have one, um, but... I do enjoy the company of the guys from Williams mm -hmm. and the guys from Force India. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, there's great people in all teams, mm -hmm. um, but but those two, uh, yeah, yeah, got some good friends. Favorite ever race? Um, ever, ever, ever. 
It's probably JB in the wet in Canada. Was it 2011? Yeah. I think it was, wasn't it? Um, that was just great. British driver, amazing overtakes, went on and on. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the one that springs to mind. And if you could change one thing about Formula One? Well, we're staying, we're staying very positive about yeah. things this year because we hope that we will see that battle between Ferrari and Mercedes. If I was to change things, I think I'd change the fact that uh, they're, they're always tinkering with the rules. I think you know, right now, let's just say that's the, you know, that's the prescient issue, isn't it? That they come into a new season, they decide that they're going to do uh, you know, you know, the, this way for qualifying and, yeah. then they, and then they change it. I think I, I understand why they have to do it because we don't want repetition necessarily. We don't want it to get stale. Um, but they've just got to sort out, um, you know, stop being negative about it from within, get a proper solution mm. that suits everybody and that allows it to be more competitive, not just wanting dominating. There are 21 tracks this season in 60 seconds. Oh, can you name as yeah. many as possible? Uh, right, you must okay, have yeah, I can do. Australia, Bahrain, yeah. Russia, yeah. Yeah. China, Barcelona, Monaco, um, Germany, Hockenheim. Yeah. Austria, yeah. Uh, Silverstone, Hungary, um, Singapore, Belgium, Italy, uh, Mexico, Austin, Abu Dhabi, um, Brazil, Mexico. You've said so Mexico. Mexico what I, think, I think you've got three to go. Oh, come on, man! Think. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna annoy me. Think, think, think. think. I think uh, Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan, Canada. Yeah. I think you may have said it, but we'll, now you've known it, Sean. Said Russia. I should know I've missed someone on the calendar, haven't I? European ones. Come on. No, go it's European. to me. Have I got them all? I think you've got all the Europeans. Got all the European ones. Mm. Then what am I missing? Hot. Malaysia. And hot. Singapore. Uh, there you go. Singapore, there you go. I think that was easy. I think that was Phew! 59.9. Salvaging reputation. I think you've just about got away. I had one. I think 21's going to be a winning score. <laughs> I, um, so, yeah, that was Simon Lays and me. Uh, just a reminder, you can watch the F1 season on our TV with Sky Sports Day, week, or month pass. Bye.